Hi everybody and welcome to another video. Um, now, I now probably say this on almost every video that I film, but this one is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's a landscape, but um, having just got back from the Lake District, uh, which is in the north of England, for those of you that don't know, um, I came back with a handful of scenes. Some of them were nice and sunny, but some of them were rainy and cloudy um, and had a real sort of drama to them. Uh, so one of the paintings that I'm going to be painting, or the painting that I'm going to be painting, is going to be one of those less sunny, happy scenes. It's going to have more drama to it. So let me just show you the photograph. So we have um, the road, obviously has puddles in it. It's, a, it's a, not a tarmac road, it's a more of a gravel road. Um, and as you can see also, um, there's a lot of cloud, very low cloud that's coming in over the top of the mountain in the distance. So it's going to be a slightly different challenge. The colours are different. There's less um, warm colours. They're quite cool greens. Um, perhaps a little bit less um, contrast because we don't have the, the, you know, the sun shining. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to be working on this week. So I'm going to take you along for the journey and show you how I do certain little aspects of it. So um, I suppose now it's time to block it in. Brown eyes, I like the way that you smile. And I tried to say it every single time. But my pride led me down the wrong line. I was tired. Until you showed up in my life I could wait forever Just to see your face Cause it keeps me going When I know what I am knowing I lost faith Now I know how to feel So, we've got the background in now um, we've had that block in stage, we've added some details just to the background, the distance there, that's now dry um, I'm going to start working on this tree. So the majority of this tree here, the green that we can see, is just the block in. The background is oil, but that's dry oil now. So we're going to be starting to work on this. So we're working on a dry background. We're going to get that tree, the density of it correct. We're going to fill in all these areas of white here, put in the branches, really try and make that look real. But the first thing we're going to do is we are going to just add a little bit of texture to the area that we can see that's already blocked in here. Then we're going to fill this part in here because as you can see from the photograph here, it's much more dense. There's still a lot of, um, you know, a lot of holes in there, but it is considerably more dense. So that's what we're going to be working on right now. So to darken these areas up, I'm going to use the tree and texture brush. This is the Series 3, size 3 8, available on my website. And I'm just going to add texture, a darker tone to that. So what we're doing here, not putting too much on the brush. That's the key. There's no thinner, there's no... Um, medium at all, so it's the, the paint is is um, as it would come from the tube, not been not been altered in any way. And there's not too much on the brush. So I haven't picked too much up, and that is allowing us to get a certain amount of texture. So I'm just going to go over the bits that we've already blocked in just darkening slightly.
So I think I'm going to use the Series 7 size 8 just to fill this in. Um, we don't need to be too accurate with it. Um, if I wanted to be really accurate, I'd probably use a rigger brush. Um, but we just kind of fill in the body first and then we can add some of those smaller details afterwards. Right, so we've now started to add a little bit more density to that tree. What I'm going to do now, I think, is I'm going to put in some of the branches and then we're going to continue adding those leaves there but with a rigger brush. We're going to get those a bit more detailed, a bit more individual. And to do the majority of the branches, certainly the bigger ones, I'm going to use the Series 9 size 1 8. Okay, so I'm moving over to the rigger brush now just to get in some of those finer little branches and twigs. Okay, so now I'm going to start adding some of the details to the outside of the tree, some of these smaller little leaves. Um, it's difficult to see in my photograph, you know, the um, whether, whether it's individual leaves. I think it probably is, I can see. So I'm just going to kind of mimic these leaves that we can see outside here, continuing with the rigger brush. And I'm just almost sort of have the feeling as if we're sketching these leaves in. So just using the very point. Okay, so before we now start to add the foliage onto here, or some of the highlighted foliage, what I'm going to do is just add a few more gaps in between these solid areas of trees here. And all I'm going to do is just mix up a little bit of the very light grey and just put in a few little spots here and there. Okay, so we're going to start building up now on the foliage on the tree and really trying to give it that that 3D look. Uh, there's a fair amount to do but some of the well, the majority, no all of the details are going to be fine. We're going to try and keep this as tight as we can to keep it realistic. Um, ordinarily I would probably paint these leaves on mass but I really want to try and get it to look as close to the photograph as I can. And I'm going to be using the Series 1. This is the size 0. This is the smallest of the rigger brushes available, of course, on the website. And I'm just going to show you now how tight we're doing those, those little lines. So we're just doing tiny little brush marks. Really, really small. That paint 
has been thinned down a little and that's going to allow us to get those really small brush marks. So just building up where I can see the um, more highlighted areas in the painting. So as you can see what I'm doing here is just a kind of a mishmash. So as you can see what I'm doing here is a series of small tiny little brush marks mainly they're small little lines so just probably no longer than about a millimeter maybe slightly more just with this mid green just doing the highlights Okay, so we've got the majority of that tree now in place. We've got all the foliage in the right place. We may well need to just um, strengthen up some of those highlights a little bit, but I think for the time being that's fine. Um, what I'm going to do now is where I've blocked in some of these branches, I'm now just going to go over those and get the colour or perfect the colour a little bit more. You can see that it's almost more of a glaze, those branches, and we want them to look a little bit more solid. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I think to begin with, I'm just going to use the Series 2, Size 2. Okay, and I've thinned this down only slightly. We just want those branches to be a little bit more dense, not so see-through. So I'm just going to run over the top. with that new colour. Okay, now we've done that, I'm just going to add some of the smaller little branches that we can see. Just here and there, just some of those smaller little bits just showing through the foliage. So now because we are doing smaller, thinner lines, I've thinned the paint down a little. And that's going to enable us to get a sharper, a sharper line. Well everybody that's all we've got time for today. I'm going to continue with this lesson in the next video so subscribe uh, to make sure that you don't miss that. Also another thing, um, the music in this video was by my good pal Sam Reck from The Goodbye Look. Um, there's a link in the description for their YouTube and Spotify so go and check them out. Um, 
and I guess that's pretty much everything. Oh, one more thing. I know we've all mentioned it already, but all the uh, brushes and indeed the actual panel that we're painting on is available from my store, shopmichaeljamesmith.com. Once again, that's available in the description, or you can click, out, click on the uh, pop-up banner just to the left there. So, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. See your face.